Hey everyone, Matthew Kerner here from beyondgrappling.com and the University of Euro.com. Today I had a subscriber uh, email come through my newsletter um, and the guy said, um, hey, how do I teach um, kids um, to, and in BJJ and judo class to be safe with submissions? Okay, so my answer is this, how to be safe. Um, first, you go teach kids how to tap. Tap with your hands, tap with your mouth, tap with your feet, and you tap your partner, not the ground and you tap before the submission's on, okay? So that's the, the first thing you need to educate on how to tap out and all the different ways to tap out. Secondly, you gotta teach that when I'm applying a submission, I'm actually he trying to hear a person say tap, I'm expecting to hear a tap, and I'm looking for a tap, okay? So it's the, I'm looking for a tap, I'm expecting to hear a tap. But lastly, kids, you should also be teaching that kids should never have to tap out. A submission should never be applied in kids and teenage class. Like I'm talking kids anywhere from five up until at least 12, they should never have to tap out. They should tap before the submission is even being applied, okay? I'm talking about arm bars, strangles, yeah, they could tap pretty soon. If they're competitive, it might be a little bit differently, a little bit different. But for the general recreational grappler, they need to tap before it's on. And lastly, we as coaches model how and when to tap. So if I'm saying to the kids, you gotta tap before the submission's on, tap before the submission's on, and they get me an arm bar, and I'm trying to do a hitchhiker escape, and I'm, and I'm leaving my arm out, because I know I'm bigger and stronger, and I just wanna work my escapes, I'm actually reinforcing something that I'm actually not doing what I tell them. So we as adults, we, if we as coaches tap before the submission's on consistently, then when, when they don't do it, I can say, hey, when, when I'm rolling you, I tap before the sub's on and you need to do the same. That way we're safe. So I always say at my club, rule number one, don't get hurt. Rule number two, don't hurt anyone else. Rule number three, learn something, okay? The whole goal is to do judo and jiu-jitsu forever. The longer you do it, the more you know, the better you get, and it's more fun if you don't get injured. So hope that helps answer your question. Have a great week. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below, and I'll do my best to... Um, to uh, film your video answer and just to say hi. And lastly, if you want to be part of my newsletter, head to beyondgrapplingclub.com. Uh, beyond no, beyondgrappling.com. Go to the free stuff, sign up to get some free DVDs and downloads, and, uh, and you can be on my newsletter list as well. So have a great week. Talk to you soon.